This is how you create a reverse reverb in Pro Tools. Let's check it out. Creating a reverse reverb in Pro Tools is actually extremely easy. It's actually just one button. So I'm just going to show you that right away. You have your dry signal, right? This is how you create a reverse. Same one you heard in the intro. You're going to go to audio suite. You're going to go to your reverbs, pick whatever reverb you want, pick your favorite. Um, I'm going to go with the fab filter pro R right now. First thing you want to check is make sure your mix is not at hundred. I like to bring it down around 25 tail looks pretty good there. You're going to want to move this a little bit, highlight a little bit to your left and a little bit to your right while holding shift. That kind of lets you, or just drag, whatever. You're going to want to do this so that any reverb tail you grab there can be kept in the recording. And you're just going to hit this button and pretty much every audio suite reverb plugin will have this. There's a reverse button right here. You click it. It does the magic. This is how you create a reverse reverb in Pro Tools. Let's check it out. It's that easy. If that's all you wanted, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like it, thanks. Okay, but get out of here. If you're more interested in actually learning how this works, stick around because I think it's a good thing to know how to actually do it. So let's undo a little bit. Let's go back to our dry signal. This is how you create a... It's only a few more steps, but I think understanding it is gonna help you a ton in playing around with this effect in the future. So I'm gonna select... I'm going to essentially do something pretty similar here, except the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it myself by going to other in uh, audio suite. We go to other, go to reverse, hit render. You've got this David Lynch right, sort of thing now. Yes. You have it reversed. Same thing. You're going to select, make sure there's a bunch of tail here. Go to reverb. Let's try another reverb just to show you how you can do it with any reverb. Um, I'm going to go down again, bring down the mix, maybe about 25%. Tail looks pretty good. I like to generally keep it around. Anything past two seconds gives you that really dramatic effect. Again, make sure you leave a lot of tail here. And we're going to render. So now we've got our reverse dialog with... I had to some, cra some crazy reverb. So think about what's happening conceptually here. I've reversed the original dialog, added a reverb to the reverse dialogue. So what happens is when I re-reverse it, that end tail is now going to be the beginning of the dialogue. And hence that last um, sort of attack that you have there yeah. is actually the first word, but reverse. So what's gonna happen is that first vowel, the, the first sound is what's getting tailed off and it's gonna now reverse into that word. So when we go back to audio suite, other reverse, and then you render that. Now you've got this long tail. This is how you create a reverse reverb in Pro Tools. Let's check it out. And it's a really fun effect. And once you understand how it works, I think you can play around with it a lot more and come up with a bunch of really cool stuff to do. So yeah, thanks for sticking around. If you stuck around for this part, I mean, you're gonna go fire, kid. You don't like shortcuts. You like it. You like the, the, the nitty gritty, huh? I don't know why that accent just came out. Thanks for watching. Um, if you did stick around, go ahead and like, subscribe, because clearly you want to see more of this content. So check it out. All right. Thanks for watching.